Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we'll look at coordinate geometry in the AMC. Now, coordinate geometry or analytic geometry is rarely required in an AMC geometry question, but it's a good backup strategy if you can't spot the critical similar figures in a problem. So let's look at our example problem from the last video. Square ABCD has side length four, and M is the midpoint of side CD. A circle with radius two and center M intersects a circle with radius 4 and center A at points P and D. What is the distance from point P to side AD? Now to solve this with coordinate geometry, we'll have to choose our coordinate axes. Now I like to choose coordinate axes that keep most items in the first quadrant, that is positive X and Y. So let's choose uh, side AD to be our positive X axis and side AB to be our positive Y axis. And this provides a nice self-check, because if I make an algebra error, it'll often flip the sign of an x or y coordinate solution, and I'll be able to spot that very easily. So in this coordinate system, we're going to try to solve for the coordinates of point P. And in fact, we only need to know the y coordinate of point P to solve this problem. So we have two circles. The larger circle is centered at uh, 0, 0, and the smaller circle is centered at 4 comma 2 in our coordinate axes. And from that we can pretty quickly describe these two circles uh, as uh, two equations in x and y. So let's go ahead and do that. So for the larger circle centered at 0 of radius 4, we know that to be x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared, 16. And for the small circle of radius 2 centered at 4 comma 2, we have an equation describing that as x minus 4 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to the radius squared. 2 squared is 4. So let's expand this. y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 4. The 4's drop out. Now we have two equations here in x and y, and uh, one good approach is to try to eliminate the squares if at all possible. And here it is possible to eliminate the x squared and the y squared terms by subtracting the third equation from the first equation, and then the x squareds and the y squareds will drop out. And when we subtract the third from the first, we're left with 8x minus 16 plus 4y is equal to 16. Divide by 4 and move the 16 over. We then have 2x plus y is equal to 8. So this is a single equation, a linear equation in x and y, which describes a line. And that line should be consistent with the line that connects points D and P. And it looks like this line is consistent with the line connecting D and P, so that's a good first check. So I think we're on the right track here. So now we'd like to solve for Y for point P, and it seems like we can do that by isolating X and then substituting X back into the first equation. We can multiply by 4 and expand the uh, square term. Sixty fours drop out. Collect the uh, y squared and we have that uh, 5 is equal to 16y. We can divide by y since the y we're searching for is not 0 find that 5y is equal to 16, and y is equal to 16 over 5, and that's choice B. So a pretty straightforward solution, and a big advantage of the coordinate approach because you can basically see the entire path of the solution, and you don't have to wait for some inspiration to occur later in the problem. But it does take some careful algebra and a bit more time than a solution based on similarity. So uh, check out the description section for a brief review of coordinate geometry for the AMC along with some practice problems, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.